friends, welcome back. I am Agam and you are in my channel Agam Tech Tricks. Today, I will show you how to install WSL any distro like Ubuntu, Arc etc. but with system D as an init process. Because basically if we install from the Microsoft store or like we normally install the Ubuntu app or Fedora etc. any distro from the Microsoft store, we don't get system D with it. But today, I will show you how to get any distro uh, like Ubuntu, Arc, here are the list. Ubuntu, Arc, Kali, Mint, OpenSUSE, etc. Like most of them available. So you can get them with system D on WSL. So let's start. So first of all, I will just quickly, uh, you have, you will first like to enable WSL. So you can see my any of the earlier videos too I have made or you can just see it online how to enable. I will just quickly show you Ubuntu from the Microsoft Store without uh, which is without systemd. So I will just show you as an example and after that I will show you with systemd. Okay, so now it's installed. I'll just open it from here only. Oh, yes, it's opened here. This is the normal Ubuntu without the system G. So first I'll put my any username and password. So this is without the system D and I'll just show you system CTL system has not been booted as an init system. So it says uh, it like it has system D but it can't work because the default one doesn't have system D currently. So now I'll sh uh, just keep this for an example and now I'll show you with system D. So what we have to do is first close this screen like close this terminal. And then I'll give you this link in the description. This is a project WSL distro D which enables or uh, installs a distro with system D. So I'll just show Ubuntu currently and you can use any like it. It also takes from the list of Linux containers dot org. So it also supports those. So uh, I'll link you in the description. So here, yeah, first of all, we have uh, open this link. I'll give in description. This is a GitHub repo. And then we have to click this release like uh, the numbers will be different like if uh, they upgrade something. So uh, first of all we have to just click this and download. And it will start downloading. Then normally just open your file manager. Go to downloads and extract this download. Right click and extract all and here. Just uh, like untick this or something. It's your wish. And here we have this. Add, uh, delete the zip file. Now just cut this and move this to the documents folder. Just for like saving it. Because uh, using the exe file in it also we can just open the WSL uh, distro we have installed so we can do anything. Like I'll just keep it's your wish whatever you want to do. So here we have this in documents and just open this. And here we have this exe application and I'll just now open this. And just click more info and run anyway. So this will open in my terminal. Here like this. Just uh, like it would be CMD for you or if you have set Windows Terminal as default, you can do anything. So here it's saying use a local tar.exe file. It's like for if you have a rootfs file already you have downloaded. But basically if you want to install Ubuntu uh, without like downloading anything. So just click not downloading but like locally downloading first exit. So just click to download an image from Linux containers dot or Linux containers and just click to and it will fetch the list of uh, distros it has. So Alma Linux, Alpine, Amazon Linux, Arc, Debian, Ubuntu etc. So many uh, has. So you can just choose whatever you want. 
and I'll just type the name or default is Ubuntu only here fetching now uh, you can just select any I'll go with uh, the LTS one focal default which is Now it's unpacking. This takes little time. Now, so it's asking our username and password which we want. Like we just installed normally Ubuntu from the Microsoft Store. The same thing it's asking. This, like I'll put an username and password. Uh, it's no need to put the same as your Windows password or like uh, the password we just installed. So here uh, we, we, have, we are on Ubuntu with systemd. So I'll just show you systemctl. Here you can see. And if I open the normal Ubuntu, we have systemctl has not been booted. But here we have, so I'll just clear this again and you can also see with this, uh, if we have that run system D. So we do have this system D folder here, but uh, in the normal Ubuntu without the system D, we have the folder, but it like system CTL won't work obviously. So in this thing, uh, this is distro D and that was normal Ubuntu. So in this thing, distro D, in distro D, system CTL is working perfectly without any issue. Here, so like we do now have system D and how to launch it. For example, normally uh, we have the Ubuntu app here and uh, like uh, in the distro D, we don't have Ubuntu app. So what you can just do, just open your terminal normally and here click the arrow button and just click distro D here. So we'll get that system D distro with Ubuntu one. I'll just show you this here, Ubuntu 20.0.3 focal fossa. Now this was like installing distro D new distro. And uh, uh, what if uh, you have a already have a WSL machine, WSL installed like Ubuntu, which we installed from the Microsoft store and you want to add uh, system D to in it which is already installed so just open this which is without the system D what you have to do is they have a full guide here just make your current distro distro run system D so what you have to do just copy paste these commands uh, this will install distro D but not install system D yet here and just make it executable and then run this script with sudo and give your password. This is the without, uh, this is the without system D machine, the application uh, which is without and we just installed from Microsoft store. This is that one. So uh, it's installing here. It now says installation is complete. So what we have to do, we have to first enable distro D here. Uh, you can also do this like start on Windows boot. So it will just uh, the VM will automatically start the distro we already have. Otherwise, I'll just use this. Distro D needs the root permission. So we will just uh, run it with sudo. And uh, now your shell with start under system D. Let's check. Okay, so what we have to do, just close this and open the Ubuntu VM again, this WSL. Now we will check here. You can see this is the Ubuntu, like the normal one which we installed from Microsoft Store. I'll just show you from here too. This is distro D. And this is Ubuntu and I'll normally open Ubuntu system CTL and we do have distro D here. I mean system system D here and this is the normal distro D. I'll just show here too. Here we have. 
so now i'll show like for example you want to have uh, like this only enables one more system d but like if you already have one like i installed ubuntu already i'll just install the normal ubuntu wait a second So now I have installed the normal Ubuntu from the Microsoft Store and I only have Distrody here. Let me reopen the Windows Terminal. Here, I already have Distrody. So uh, if you want uh, one, one or more, like if you want more distros with System D. So uh, they also have a guide here. It's here install and run multiple distros at the same time so like if you want to have ubuntu arc linux etc uh, so many you can uh, so what you have to do is just wherever uh, we downloaded the file that's why i said to just keep a backup of it here in the documents i had kept it so i'll just open the terminal here first open in windows terminal and close it and where we have to run this command Distro D WSL launcher that dot uh, exe file we have. Let me show this launcher dot exe file we have. So I'll just now I'll just now run this to get one more uh, distro. So for example, we already have Ubuntu in Distro D currently. So I'll just install Arc Linux now. Wait a second. Here. We have to just press tab key once to automatically minus D new underscore distro D. Here. Thanks for trying. Again, it's showing that thing. And now just uh, click 2 again. Or if you have a local tarder. And now I'll show you Arc Linux with Ubuntu. We, have, we will have two distros with system D. So I'll just click Arc, I'll type Arc Linux and it will take some time to download. Uh, I'll just use the current one only. That's the default there and the only option there in fact. Now this again depends on your network speed. Here, so again, it's asking for a username and password. I'll just enter. You can put any. Here. This is Arc Linux with system D. So I'll just show you first. Arc Linux, you can see. So I'll now again show you system D here. So we now have Arc Linux and Ubuntu both with system D. Wait a second. Now open terminal again. Here. Distro D minus new distro D. And like you can give a name also. For example, uh, we just wrote new distro D here. You can just uh, new distro name for example. So you can just keep it Arc Linux. I just uh, sh did uh, show you the command. So here new distro D. This is Arc Linux. And distro D the default one. You can change it uh, like while creating this you can give minus D like using the first time to get different name. And this is Ubuntu. So with this method we can get system D on our currently installed WSL app or uh, the we can install a new distro with systemd. So thanks for watching my video. Please like, comment and subscribe to my channel.